Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Still on the hunt for side quests. I wanted to come here and use this fish, so let's do that. Go back this way. Just one more time, though. And I just. I mean, it's hard to tell what that is. And the, on the top of uh, this map here. It just it looks like some sort of tower with stairs. I guess like one of the the towers that you use to uh locate things on the map. But there's nothing up there like that. don't know what all I can think of is I have to go into the actual city of uh of Junon here and that's where I'll find it it doesn't feel right I just don't know where else it could be I can check the tower right here but that just makes no sense to the map I have See that? You can even see the tower on the map. So it's up. It's up towards where Junon is. So I mean, I guess it's in Junon. But we'll just wait until going into Junon. We'll save it for last among the side quests. Yeah, I still don't think doing the side quest here is going to take as long as the side quest in, uh, in the grasslands. Back at this. Alright, let's try and pressure the enemy here, if nothing else. Kinda of try and dodge his big attacks to do that. I guess all I have to do is dodge it once. I will not jump up. Why won't Pyle jump in this game? You just will not jump at all and try and attack enemies. I mean, at least then. 
at least in 7 Remake, he would jump to deal with the aerial enemies. It wasn't, he wasn't always going to reliably jump when you wanted him to do it, but you could still do that with him. I don't like how this is worded. Inflicting enough damage will cause it to retaliate with a violent attack, but evading this attack will pressure it. Like, I don't, I don't say... I don't like how it says, but evading this attack will pressure it. I think it should say instead, but invading its ultimate attack will pressure it. Or its retaliation will pressure it. Something like that. Oh, being very nitpicky today. When food is scarce, they occasionally venture into towns and cities where they have been known to be powerful. Oh, wait, wait. As generous Fuck. I swear every time I try and do something, the enemies fucking come, come out of nowhere and... Time to react to it at all. Do I need like the deadly dodge ability? Or 
something. Deadly a dodge materia. Big move is by inflicting enough damage. I guess I haven't done that yet, though. Aha! Uh -huh, gotcha. Yeah, I think Tifa was the best thing to do there. Can we beat this thing in time? having fun exploring. It took me a while to like warm up and see if I would like it, but you know, I, I began to really like exploring the grasslands after a bit, and I'm liking exploring this place. Exploring fun. Piece of cake. 
play it. Doing all there is to offer in these places is fun. Don't overdo it. Yeah, I'll do it. This shit's about. Will it be uh, Vex Badasses again, or will it be a different group? Because I kind of felt like we wrapped things up with Vex Badasses. Uh, last, last area. Maybe it's them again. I guess it's all. Yeah, then we're probably gonna get another piece. Uh, being able to summon or whatever with. Go Gilgamesh. Let's go. Yeah, I'm, I think it's cool that they brought Gilgamesh back here. And it's THE Gilgamesh too, not no... Final Fantasy 15 version of him. That's not Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh we saw in Final Fantasy 15 was an imposter. Final Fantasy Nines as well. <laughs> well. I guess the last time Gilgamesh really showed up in a game. You know, the Gilgamesh was probably 13 2? I guess he was in 14. I've never played 14 myself. But I have seen how how he's in 14, so that's that's cool. I guess that's the last time we've seen D Gilgamesh. If you want to count Type Zero, I, I guess he was in that, but not really because that still didn't seem like the Gilgamesh that is like traps a, as a part of the interdimensional rift, and or he's just he's traveling the. Interdimensional rift and just jump between universe to universe. Yeah, like I've said, uh, like I've said previously, before, like yeah, I don't like storytelling that dives into alternate universes or timelines or time traveling, and all of that. But the Gilgamesh thing—that's an exception. That because that's just a tongue-in-cheek Easter egg kind of thing that I'm all for. Even some of the, uh, when they remade some of the older Final Fantasies, specifically I was going to say specifically the Game Boy Advance versions, but it's not just them. I think they put Gilgamesh into like the Game Boy Advance remake of Final Fantasy 1. 
and uh, they put him in Final Fantasy IV the after years. And uh, well, I played the after years. It's funny to think that, not counting Final Fantasy VIII. Final Fantasy VIII would have been my first encounter with Gilgamesh, personally. Because 15 was my first Final Fantasy game, but I never played the I never played the DLC episodes till later, much later. And I did watch. Uh, uh, Gladius. Him in particular, him being the first DLC episode that dropped. I did actually, I remember watching that, watching someone play through that when that came out. So I was familiar with Gilgamesh. I, I knew about him. But honestly, yeah, like, that's what gave me my interpretation of Gilgamesh. Because in 15, Gilgamesh was like all serious and. Scattered. No, he's not the same Gilgamesh that has, he's been in all the other games where he's just a silly goofball. So Final Fantasy VIII was my first encounter with him. And really his like goof... Like in Final Fantasy VIII he just kind of, kind of comes off as a badass. You don't... Cause it's just... He just kind of comes up as a summon. Like if you really don't know Gilgamesh... And you, you, re you really don't know that he's a goofball just from seeing him in <coughs> just from seeing him in Final Fantasy VIII. So after eight, my first, my next experience uh, playing or seeing seeing him, encountering him, was in after years. And he is a little bit of a goofball in, in after years. But you kind of, at least I didn't know, like, if I was supposed to be taking it, that he was a, a goofball. Not, not to the extent that you see him be and him being one in Final Fantasy V. And then I, then I saw this movie. I've been playing after years of Solid War Too bad. I think perhaps I picked up another enemy skill and not realized it. But yeah, I must have. Plasma Discharge. Just in case. potions like how I did in, in 7 Remake. Like pretty early on in 7 Remake you find yourself getting a shit ton of potions. You were just swimming in potions very early on in 7 Remake.
shit. That looked like a Fort Condor piece. Maybe it was a card. had two of these. Looks like a Fort Condor piece. Is that making a return? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just something else that I can do something else with. I, th I just figured Fort Condor would not be making its return with the uh, new card game in this game. Uh, not sure what you want me to do about that, Birdie. Oh, I see. Damn. I did not realize. Spring data, I was able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. It can be found within a derelict structure that sits upon the coastline. This area is modeled with craters resulting from intense warfare between the Republic and Shinra. Do mind your step as you proceed. Fort Condor right there. Hey Barrett, how about you uh, play me in the game? 
Yeah, I've seen where if you play Final Fantasy VII Intermission in hard difficulty, which you unlock after beating the game in normal difficulty. Like, I guess like the hard mode, new game plus, whatever. Like you can, like the Fort Condor games get harder too. Shit, like yeah. Chadley was enough of a pain in the dick, and the story, I thought, just, just normal mode. To make him even harder, and like people, he, yeah, I heard, yeah, I heard he was in fact, yes, a big ol' big ol' tumor on the penis in, uh, in hard mode, so, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, also, in hard mode, like, not only are your opponents just stronger, like, I don't know if the AI gets me smarter, but what happens is their, their boards, the boards they use, that they play you on, get even tougher to play on, like, they're even more powerful in their boards. that for you to win you have to destroy their headquarters you can't just destroy more more towers than they do like you you have to destroy their headquarters in the middle something like that
check this out real quick. I just bought. There's other accessories. It feels like I did that for nothing. Just wasted a whole bunch of gill. For shame. Armor, I mean, not accessories. This is what I bought, the alpha, the alpha dump. 
Bangle. Man, some of these armors and accessories have some weird names sometimes. <laughs> Alpha Dunk. Alpha Dunk Bangle. What, did I buy one Weiss Fox bracelet? Yeah. So it was still worth buying them then. I'm gonna, buy, I'm gonna go ahead and make another one. How you like me now? safe and sound according to the energy hmm. I mean I have a bunch of shade sage bleh and I have a bunch of planets blasting maybe I should just make a bunch of these Why not? I almost ran myself out of save before I could even make that ether. So I guess that's a good reason not to. Yep, almost had a planet's favor. Yeah, I might have jumped the gun, making as much as I did. But thankfully, I didn't make any more than what I did. Planet's favor, if there's anything I can fucking collect a lot of, it's that. Curious lot.
every magic attack, with the exception of poison, I have two of everything being used. Two fire spells, two blizzard spells, two wind. Lightning. So that's a good position to be in. I even have two cures too. at least the third level just cuz really just because I have chakra on the third level so let's give prayer to the third level too it takes longer to get to level up prayer though 600 AP just to get to level 3 chakra's already at level 3 and I need I needed to only get to 300 to get to the level 4, so... Greetings. The proto relic should be nearby. And this is gonna be some somebody new, not big fat asses. Hey, is this something? Like this is coming back at least for a little bit. Something indeed. That's it. Now then, all that remains is to. Hmm. That's odd. So many energy spikes. What could be the cause? This merits investigation. One moment. Fort Condor, huh? Takes me back. Used to study basic tactics with it. Game's pretty fun, actually. Wedge was into it, and he and I'd play sometimes. Detecting rapid increase in... Wait, Tifa! Don't! <sighs> this is getting crazy. It's a good thing I found that Fort Condor piece. <laughs> uh, did we take some mushrooms? What? Yeah, I think I, I, think I saw like an image of this, actually. And why do we look... Like this! They look like their Final Fantasy VII counterparts. Watch where you shoot! Captain! The quote unquote Lego people of Final Fantasy VII. The fight! No! Glad you're here, troopers. Shinra forces are poised to strike our position. Help us! You're our only hope. We are? Now, what did I just say? There's no time! The enemy's already upon us. We'll explain on the way. Just come! Yeah, yeah. Right here, too, also. Like, Baron and Tifa are with me, and that's who I came in here. Like, that was who's, who was in my party when I came here, so... Would that have changed if I... Would this scene be different if I had Aerith or Red 13 in my party? Like, would they be shown here instead of Baron and Tifa?
guess there's healing pieces now because I guess I mean we have cleric right there I guess I'm guessing he heals my other pieces uh, my other soldiers I'll go with cloud and Barrett. I, I can't just pick and choose what pieces I have to do uh, difficulty reduction but to make it easier at all three is that what that means Formation to go with. I kind of like formation one because it's two of everything and then a healer, but maybe I need maybe I need two healers. If you count Cloud, that's his that's his shieldy guy. Barrett is a bow and arrow y guy. with this one. They changed this up some. Cloud and Baron ever? How can I make that happen? Let's see what Claire does. I guess players don't count in that. Oh, interesting. Time to make a comeback here. I have, to defeat, I have to defeat the boss? Shit. Go, 
go, go. Go get him. I want to play you. Why can't I play you right now? I ran out, that's why. Oh shit, I didn't really I guess I can't play him anymore because I I can only play a certain number. Fuck. Go! Fuck! What the fuck is going on here? I wish I could do some magic spells right here. I guess they took that away from me as well. Not do enough fucking damage. So close, but no fucking cigar. Fuck you, two game. One more time here in this episode. Go, go, go. I guess my guys are good. They're always going to go to one of the sides first.
motherfucker. And no damage to this guy in the center. That's all it took to get the piece. We did it! Victory is ours! And we owe it all to your gracious aid. We thank you. And that's definitely Gilgamesh right Fellow there. Troopers, it would seem that our next battle is fast approaching! The enemy could launch another attack at any moment. Please, you must stay and help us fight! Not again. Oh, shit. The Proto Relic! Hmm? What is that I spy? What is that I spy? My memory is failing me, but intuition tells me that is the treasure I seek. Hold! Unhand that, you rogues! Captain! Well, I guess we're gonna continue with that. The hell was that? Uh... Call me crazy, but we were inside the game, weren't we? That's impossible. It is impossible, right? Incredible! Simply incredible! No phenomenon like this has ever been observed before. It was as if the very fabric of time and space was twisted. But how? Why? Chadley, focus. So what now, little man? Proto relic's gone. One of those gonna brush that swiped off. it. You're right. Of course. The proto relic. It's faint, but I'm still tracking its signal. Which means a portal like the one you used to enter Fort Condor has opened elsewhere. We cannot ignore this amazing development. seen how Cloud put that in his back pocket. Things are getting too cartoony here. <laughs> uh-huh. But anyway, that's where I'm going to end this one. Until next time.